Hey guys, Pathogaming Gaming right here right now, bringing you another video from my fundamental series. Today we'll be discussing items and flexible items. Really you should think about what items to slam, and when you're thinking about slamming or combining components to make items, you want to think about the items you want, the, thin, the, the items you're willing to accept, and items you don't want. So we're just gonna we're just gonna run through some some items and like all these examples are just examples. This is not a tier list. These are not recommended items. Nothing like that. But the way I want you to think about items is, if you have two or three components, you should probably consider slamming some of these items, right? So maybe you want a bramble vest. Maybe you want a stone plate, titans, war march redemption. These are all reasonably good tank items. Now, if you start armor and get another armor and slam the Bramble Vest, if you start a sword or glove and you get an armor and a cloak, you make the stone plate. Titans is kind of tricky because arguably it's a it's a tank item, but it can be used on some carries. And the same for Warmarks and Redemption. Now, the thing, of, the, the thing about items and being flexible with them is when you have two or three components, you should think about what item, like what tank item or what carry item, whether it's IE, Last Whisper, Runans, Giant Slayer, or Quicksilver, or BT, or many other carry items you want to make, and you should decide. Okay, so right now I have uh, bow, armor, glove. Okay, you started bow, and now you have bow, armor, glove. Should you make the Last Whisper or should you make the Titans? You should probably make Titans because you started bow, you're more likely to get another bow, and you have a glove, which you can use to make Last Whisper, Infinity, or QSS, if those are the items like you prefer. So it's really important when you're making items to actually think not just about what items you're making right away, but what components are left over. So that's why I like Runance is here. Typically, like, yeah, QSS is, is not bad. Runans is kind of okay. And then you have, like, Stoneplate. But overall, Cloak is still not that desired, right? And if you get dropped a Cloak on the Creep Round, then uh, if you have an Armor or if you have a Bow, I mean, QSS is not that great on Stage 2, but if you have an Armor or a Bow, then you slam the, the Stoneplate or you slam the Runans. And the reason you do this is because you want to get rid of the cloak, right? And then ideally you have a good item left over. So the way you should think about items is what two components can I put together right now and what component am I going to have left over? And then from the carousel, you get the matching component to make another item. Because I see so many people have three components and then they go for a component to have four components and they want to make a infinity edge so they have a glove they want to they want to grab a sword so then they make infinity edge but at the same time they have a they have a bow and a cloak but they're like no 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 i i i want to make infinity edge first and then i'll make glass whisper and then i want to make qss but like then you're playing way too long without items so you should slam the items that are good enough. And this is like something to consider, like these tank items, these carry items. There's also like other items like Sunfire, Morello, Frozen, Frozen Heart, Zeke's, and Chalice. Like these items are good utility items, right? If you have a Morello, you have a Morello user like, like Brand or even, even Nocturne or anyone who can kind of reliably spread Morello. There aren't that many early on. And obviously Sunfire is stronger early on, Rose stronger later later stages. And then there's like Frozen Hearts. There's so many utility items. And you gotta think about, okay, so I have a tear and a cloak. I don't want to make a, a Hodge. I don't want to make a QSS. I need to keep my glove because I need to use the glove to make one of these better items that I want on my carry. Well, Chalice is kind of whatever, but it buffs three units, which is like basically all your units or like three out of four units on your board. So it's actually kind of decent on stage two. And whatever utility units you're playing later in the game, 
like Oriana, Seraphine, um, I mean, even Renata, like whatever backline you have, they can kind of use Chalice. Yes, it's not an amazing item. You're not thrilled to slam Chalice. But the fact is, if you have a glove, a tear and a cloak, and you want to use the glove for something, then you slam Chalice. Especially if you know you don't want extra tears and you don't want extra cloaks, so you just get rid of them, right? Another alternative is possibly to slam Hodge. Hodge is another one of these like other items because it's not perfect for anybody, but it's decent, right? So maybe you slam Hodge because you really want the cloak. You really want the cloak to be able to make a QSS. Or you really want the cloak to make a D-claw because you want a super tank. So it's really important to think about what items you're going to make now and what items you want to make later and try to use as many components as possible. Because like if you have a bunch of components lying around, your board is just weaker than everybody else's. So just, just to go over a quick recap. You got to know what items you want or like what completed items you want. Like the core items. Like that could be that could be your Infinity, Whisper, and Slayer, for example. That's kind of standard on uh, on Jin. You can use that possibly on Sivir, possibly on Draven. Like it's kind of standard backline. Even Imerlia can kind of use like your backline damage, right? So that means you have glove, glove, bow, bow, sword. So that, that's why you would wanna you wanna start with, with bow or or glove. To, to be able to, to make these three. And then whatever items you you have left over, you kind of combine into the other items, the tank items, right? Because you want to make these three items and the other ones, you just kind of combine whatever you have and you want to make sure you know what you don't want, right? So like you don't want to end up with uh, too many components lying around and maybe you know that you really don't want uh, a D-Claw because nobody's going for AP in the lobby. Or you don't want a Bramble Vest because everyone's going for AP. Yeah, although like, yeah, there's some some crit calculation, but like, let's, let's say it just like doesn't, doesn't do anything, right? So know what you really don't want, know what components you don't want to be left, left over with, or possibly if you get a tier, another tier, just make a blue buff, right? Like, if you're going for, for AD comp, because like that's kind of my way to approach the game, I prefer AD rather than AP. So then I know what I don't want. I don't want to have a lot of cloaks. Uh, I mean, I don't want to have a lot of tears and rods. Cloaks are not so bad. So if I have a tier and a rod, I know I don't want to, I don't want to like use them for anything. So then I just make, I just make a blue buff, right? Or like I just slam whatever item I have to slam like a uh, Ionic Spark, because I know I don't need cloaks, I know I don't need rods, so I just get rid of the components I don't want. And just kind of to remember, you should be playing around your arguments and your streaks, right? So if you have uh, a scrap augment and you're playing scraps, then uh, possibly you leave some components lying around. If you're on a lost streak, then maybe you don't want to make items. I see like people after Carousel, they're on a three lost streak, and like, yeah, I got my uh, Morello, I'm gonna slam my Morello, or I have my Sunfire Cape, I'm gonna slam the Sunfire Cape. Guess what? Sunfire Cape did, they went around. I'm like, what the hell? Why did you wanna win the round after you're on a three loss streak? Just continue losing. And just like another advanced thing, you can actually combine items during a fight. You can put components on your champions during a fight. So make sure you're ready and you're quick with your mouse to just slam that component, complete that item, if you need to kind of have that extra oomph to win a fight. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested, join the Discord. We have more resources there, or if you wanna get coaching. And please like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Thank you guys, Pathogaming out.